Good afternoon to you. I'm Jan Markwitz. You are listening to God at Work, and my guest today is Gulia, and she works with Youth with a Mission in Central Asia. How did you first of all get involved with Youth with a Mission? Well, I grew up in Central Asia. Mm-hmm. Um, it was during Soviet Union time, so it was an atheistic country at that time. But then, uh, Soviet Union collapsed, and I knew that there was God. But I didn't know him personally. Uh, and when our country was received its in- independence, um, uh, the doors opened for missionaries to come in. And I was introduced to Christian missionaries in um, our capital. And they told me about God, about Jesus. And um, I gave my life to him because I saw in their families a love that I've never experienced before, that I never saw in my life, in our family. And I was um, actually desperately looking for that kind of love. And God told me that he is that love. And um, I see this love in their families because they know him as personal God. So, And I gave my life to him. And I knew that God wants me to go and tell other people about him and about his love. So I decided that I will be a missionary. So I went to Russia for my training. And people that were telling me about Jesus in my country actually worked with Youth with a Mission, but they never told me that um, they're there with that organization because it's... um, forbidden. Mm -hmm. They were working underground. Um, So when I went to Russia, I found out that um, there is this organization called Youth with a Mission, and they do this wonderful work. They work in three uh, main spheres, mercy and evangelism and training. So in 1999, I moved to Perm to um, work with YWAM. Youth with a Mission. Youth uh-huh. with a Mission, yes. And my ministry there was with Crisis Pregnancy Center. So I worked for about eight years there. Mm-hmm. So you started the, the Pregnancy Crisis Center there in Russia? Yes, in, in Perm. Wh- and how while did that I happen? was doing my training in St. Petersburg, um, we they took us to this Crisis Pregnancy Center that was run by Youth with a Mission. I've never seen anything like this in my whole life, and I, I really liked their work. It really touched my heart, and um, yes, I knew that's what I want to do. So when I came to Perm, there was none there, and together with Youth with a Mission and a local church, we prayed and planned for opening it, and we got it to work. And God opened the doors for you, huh? Yes. Yes, That's and neat. we saw li- life saved. Mm-hmm. That was very cool. So you would talk to women and, t- and tell them that there were alternatives to mm-hmm. not needing to have an abortion and that God, did you yes. tell them about the Lord? And Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And, and did you see many women change their minds? Yes, and, yes. Mm-hmm. it was very, very cool to to see that, to hear it later. We would even get to see their babies. They were thankful, of course. Mm-hmm. And how has your life changed since you've given your life to Jesus? How have you grown in your faith? Um, it changed um, greatly. Um, Do you have hope now when you didn't have hope? Yes. And you know where to go to in, in times of trouble? Yes. I also would like to share about my husband. I met him while I was doing my work in Perm, and he is a former drug addict. So how did you meet him? He was a drug addict and and uh, when you um, met him, or was he already kind of out of that lifestyle by the time you met him? Yes, when I met him, he was already serving as a worship leader in a a different church, not the church I I went to in Perm, a different one. We met at some... um, joint church um, gathering and um, I found out later that when I got to Perm to work he was still doing drugs and getting drugs in in the same area where we had our YWAM office and then he went for a rehab center and never went back to his old life after that and um, he was telling me that um, before he met me he was hardly Oh, very strongly praying for a wife, mm-hmm. but he was satisfied with his um, ministry in a local church uh, and um, working at um, some organization. So he wasn't 
um, praying for his calling. He thought his calling was being a worship leader in his local church. But when he met me, he um, also met his calling, and his calling is being a missionary. So we together went to another school. Um, I did my discipleship training school in 1999 alone, but when we um, were married, he also wanted to do one to join Youth with a Mission. So for our outreach, we went to my country, and God did cool things there. Now God's using you both together yes. in Youth with a Mission. And um, while we were on that short outreach, my husband and other team members went to town to um, to encourage some local believers. And um, in the middle of um, the night, the police came in and they started looking through their bags and found Bibles and they uh, were questioning them. They said, um, who are you here? What are you for? And um, you're not supposed to be doing any religious work. So they took them, uh, my husband and a few other members, to the police station and questioned um, gave them different questions. So they explained them that um, they're there for a visit and um, they believe God and they read their Bibles and they actually even invited those policemen to their home um, meeting. Hmm. They were going to have Where a prayer have Bible night. Studies yes, and, uh-huh. yes. And later um, at night, um, one policeman came in and he had many, many questions. He uh, asked about God and... Um, so they did let, let them go? Yes, they, okay. yes, okay. yes. They they let them go. And at, at night, that man, one of uh, police officers came and he gave his life to, to Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, and that's <laughs> when my husband said, okay, I want to serve in this country. And we went back, and now we're serving there as a family. That's great. We've been there for two years, and yeah, we see God working there. You just never know, but what could seem like a frightening incident that's happening in your life, such as having the police come and pick you up because you're having a Bible study and mm-hmm. teaching about the gospel, and yet God used that to bring one of those police officers to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yes, um, it's a miracle. It is. That's pretty exciting. Can you share any other stories where you saw God working? Yes. Our country, my country where we work now is um, closed country. So we can't evangelize out on the street or it's even forbidden to have a home group Bible study. So we have to do it very carefully. But the doors are open for mercy ministry. So what we do, we serve at um, orphanages um, Mm -hmm. orphanages for handicapped children. Also, we have um, homeless people. People um, ministry, and uh, so I would like to share a, um, a story about one man that was saved through this um, ministry. I will give him another name. Let's call him Nikolai. Okay. Um, we heard of a man who lives at the cemetery. Um, he didn't uh, have. Um, he was about fifty years old. He didn't have a family. Uh, he didn't have a home. So uh, he just had a bed just next to entrance into the cemetery Mm -hmm. and he that's how he would um, make his living people would come and give him some money and he couldn't walk because his um, leg was in gangrene gangrene uh uh-huh yes and um, and nobody was taking care of him so um we went um, our team went and got him and took him to the hospital it was very hard getting him treatment because um yeah, he didn't have any documents, and uh, he needed to prove that he is actually a um, citizen of that country. But his leg was saved, and uh, because he saw this unconditional love of um, our people, he came to the church, and he started coming to our meetings, and he got saved. And yes, uh, physically, he's doing great now, and also he gave his life to Jesus, and now, now he's um, at, um, studying at seminary first year. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's a wonderful example of yes. God's work. Amen. They will know we are Christians by our love. Yes. That's so true, isn't it? Yes. It's love that wins people over, isn't it, to the Lord? Exactly. Well, I appreciate you coming and sharing your stories with us today, Golia, about the things that God has done. Thank you very much. And thank you for allowing him to work in your life and use you as a vessel. 
God bless you. Thank you. Father, I just pray for Golia and her husband and, and the uh, mission that she works with the youth with the mission and all those that are involved with the mission, Father. I just pray protection over them. I pray that you just meet their needs physically, spiritually, even financially, Father God, and that you just bless them and bless their efforts as they serve you to bring other people to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ as they allow you to work through them. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. You've been listening to God at Work on WMPQ The Light 95.9.